Hi guys. Is it even like focused? I am craving sushi right now. I should have got it on my way home from work. It would have been easier because now I have to drive all the way back across town. But we're gonna go get sushi. This is what we're wearing. This is what we're wearing. Maybe I'll put on a sweater because it might be a little cold out. But yeah, let's go get some sushi. This is so fun. This is so much fun. Um... It's what we're calling. Hi, uh, can I please place an order for a pickup? Yeah. Um, what's the phone number? Uh, 815. Name Cameron? Yeah. What guy is Cameron? Uh, can I please get a roll of surf and turf? Anything else? The front desk about 15, 20 minutes, okay? Okay, thank you. I'm so excited. Okay, so I just got here and now that I have to get out of my car, I am kind of embarrassed at what I'm wearing. But then again, I don't care. I have secured the bag. I've got my sushi. Now we're gonna drive home and we're gonna enjoy our sushi together. This is by far one of the best decisions that I've made in a lot. I just opened the sushi. Y'all, like, okay, can we just, we should have a mukbang, whatever that means. Let's talk about my day. Like, since I live alone, I can talk about my day with myself. So let's see my day from start to finish. So I woke up, right? I woke up late, actually. And like, whenever I wake up late, I don't really rush myself, because I'm just like, what's the point? So I took my time. But I took a shower, made my coffee, you know? I left and I went to work. So that was a long day. And it was fun, I guess. But yeah, like, work is work. There was really not that much to talk about when it comes to work. So then I came home. And then I sat on my couch and I was like scrolling through TikTok for like a long time. And then I said, I want sushi. And now we're here with sushi. Mm. Wow. That is so good. It's amazing. Like, I cannot complain. At all. I love this. It is. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. It is the next day. My sushi was great, and now it's time to have a nice Sunday, I guess. Good morning.
So you made my coffee with me again. It's Sunday, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You probably know me from TikTok. That's probably why you're here. I'm really not doing anything today, except for, well, I'm starting a podcast, and today I'm filming, not filming, but like recording for it. So I'm filming a podcast today, so that's kind of exciting. Um, I am watching football. It's quiet because I wanted, I didn't want it to, you know, interrupt our conversation right now, but it's on the TV. The Bears are losing. I put this out for me to wear because the Bears are playing today. But yeah, it's the next day from yesterday, obviously, when I went out and I got sushi. I was really craving sushi and I just like, I needed it. So I went and I got it and it was delicious. It was amazing. It really hit the spot while I was watching The Queen's Gambit on Netflix. That show was really good, by the way. It was recommended to me by you guys on TikTok, actually, on one of my videos. I was like, what should I binge watch on Netflix? And then everyone was like, The Queen's Gambit. So I was like, okay. And it's very good. Anyway, I want to talk about this coffee because I think, hands down, it's like the best one I've ever made. Like, even when I was like making the video, when I was making the coffee, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I was like, that looks really good. I was like, why does that one look so good? But this one today, I was making it and I was just like, this one, something's different about this one. I didn't know what it was. I still don't know what it is, but it's just, ugh. Yeah, so like, that's a good thing. But yeah, so I'm gonna set up for my podcast. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is really or like what it's about, but um, yeah, I'm starting a podcast, finally. And I'm really excited about it. You know, I kind of just wanted to share that here and let you guys in on a little bit of what's going on with that. Yeah, making a podcast. If I hadn't said that before, the bears suck. Oh my god. Okay, they don't- yes, they do. <laughs> oh, you got- oh, you got in. I didn't know the door was open. I haven't seen you guys in forever. <laughs> remember what the last thing I was talking about was but back to the main character me I'm going through a midlife not a midlife crisis but I'm going through a early life crisis because I'm not in the middle of my life right now I'm in the early stages still so I'm going through an early life crisis and it kind of sucks because uh, I don't know how to deal with it I'm just gonna tell you while I wash my face because I... Yeah, I don't know. But, um... So, what's currently going on... Oh, wait. I forgot to show you. The, this is what I use on my face. CeraVe. Or however you say it, I don't really know. Um, anyway, I think everybody on the planet Earth uses this. So, I ordered some, like... I ordered some curtain from Urban Outfitters. And I was very excited to get them because of like, obviously, anytime you order something online, you're super excited for when it when it arrives, because that's like, that's how online shopping works. I was like, super stoked, super excited to like put them up after work. I got off at nine. I go to Target, and I'm like, I need to get curtain rods so I can you know put the curtains up. So I go to Target and I get curtain rods. I come home. I go to my mailbox. Nothing there. And I was like, oh, sometimes they leave packages at my door. So I go upstairs. Now I'm at my door. Nothing there. And I was just like, what's going on? I looked at my app again. I looked at Urban Outfitters again and it said, delivered. So I was like, oh. Someone has to be lying here. We can't all be telling the truth. Then I started to get a little bit upset. I was like, where? I don't ever get upset. I never get upset. So I was like, <laughs> who would do this to me? Am I being punked? What's going on? 
I proceeded. I proceeded. I told myself, I said, I am not gonna freak out. We are just gonna find out what's going on here. You know, it's, and that someone has to have an explanation because the package was delivered, right? Well, obviously not because I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing anything. And I was getting a little upset. So um, I called Urban Outfitters and I was like, you know what, this is probably not like a them issue. Regardless, I call Urban Outfitters because I'm like, <laughs> And they're like, well, did you talk to the delivery company? And I was like, no, not yet. Like, they are on my list. <laughs> I'm gonna check all the boxes. They're on my list, but I called you first. Mind you, it's like 10.30 at night. And so I'm like kind of feeling bad that I'm calling this late. But then again, I'm like, I was planning a day for myself. I was planning a night for myself. I was gonna hang my curtains and I was gonna... I was gonna drink wine and I was just gonna vibe, you know? And now I can't because I don't have any curtains. So, I was like, Urban Outfitters, what's what's going on? And they were like, talk to the delivery company. And I was like, mm. okay. I contact the delivery company and I'm like, where's my package? I emailed them because they don't give you an option to call. So I was like, you know what, I'd rather talk to someone, but I'll email you. They email me back maybe in like a half hour and they say oh, issue resolved and i was like issues not resolved what are you talking about they sent a picture of my package on my front steps of my building they said it was delivered it's right there and i said wow it is right there i know i know that spot like i i know what that looks like i i, I see that you delivered my package so then I couldn't really be mad at them anymore. I was like, you, you, you did your job, kind of. I don't know why you left it outside, but um, it made it here. So now I come to the realization that there's a thief. There is a thief lurking around here somewhere who now has three panels of curtains and no rods. What are they going to do with my, my, my curtains? You know, so I texted my building owner and I said, hey, I think someone stole my package. Um, I don't want to jump to conclusions. So did we have like a mail room that someone would have taken it to? You know, like someone could have been like, oh, what is this doing here? Let's take it somewhere safer. You know, like I want to, I want to believe that that's possible, but I, I don't have that much faith about it. So um, she was like, yeah, no, there's nothing in my office. So I'm, I'm gonna check the cameras for you. I'm gonna check them, you know, tomorrow. And I'll get back to you on Wednesday. So I'm like, okay. So now I'm just here, cartonless, and I'm like, I can't believe someone stole my stuff because I want it back. And I mean, I'm kind of mad about it. So, yeah, that's my early life crisis right now. And that's not the only thing. Because the second part of my early life crisis is, uh, look at the, my skin right now. Uh, if you can't tell, it's, a little, it's looking a little irritated. Like what? Who said that this was okay? Like, I'm not mad because I feel like pimples give you character. When I get a pimple right here, like right here, I don't know why I ever tell this to, like, to anybody, but like right up here, I like it. I'm like, oh, I like this one. And then when it like gets good enough to like kind of scratch off or whatever, it leaves a little scar for a little bit. And I'm like, I like that one. I don't know why, but I feel like it gives me it makes me, it makes me different. <laughs> like, I kind of like the skin irritation that's going on right here. It makes me look edgy or something, you know? Like, oh, like, oh look at him. But um, in the long run, I don't actually want it here. I'm kind of mad about it, and I'm mad that my beard's not covering it up, so. So that's my early life crisis number two. I don't know why today it has to be like this. I don't know why, and it's like midnight, so. I'm tired, oh my god. I'm so tired, I'm going to bed. But I can't stop thinking about my curtains and who stole my curtains. So I'm just like, <sighs> what am I gonna do? And if they don't find them, if they're not found on Wednesday, I'm going to flip a table. I'm gonna go down to the nearest school and I'm going to go in the cafeteria and proceed to flip one of their cafeteria tables because I just can't. I'm not gonna flip my own table because that's that's just, that's just destructive. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, that's how my night's going so far. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed. I have to work tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow.